what's going on guys and gal mom i know you're out there watching i hope you're proud of me uh, so in this video we're gonna be talking about code miko i think that's her name Th that name keeps popping up on my channel over and over and over again i had no idea who she was until people started commenting her name asking you know how is she doing that oh uh, so basically long story short there's a streamer right now on twitch streaming her motion motion capture suit facial pretty much creating a digital copy of herself and streaming it to twitch and i'm pretty sure that's where twitch is gonna go from now on which is insane because i know it's just technology right so uh, as you all know i've been making a lot of unreal engine 4 videos and people keep asking me this stuff like how is she doing this i can't tell you how she's doing it 100 percent because i really don't know who she is but what i'm going to show you today is how you can do it in unreal engine 4 like it's pretty much how i would do it if i was to do something like that now you're gonna need a couple of things for this to work and i'm not gonna show you how to set it up completely i'm just gonna show you pretty much what you will need to get this thing started and if you watch a couple of my videos you probably learn how to do this thing now i've probably shown it in the channel in bits and pieces but and but what i'm gonna do today is just kind of do like an overall thing on how you would approach in doing something like what she's doing she's streaming as a digital character from unreal engine 4. so the first thing you need is a mocap suit now from my understanding she's using an xsense mocap suit which is thirty thousand dollars plus like a yearly subscription which i can't afford so i have right here on my head and my body is the perception neuron version 32 i bought this last year and i can tell you right now uh, i don't regret buying it it's a great entry suit for you guys out there that are just starting out and i'm pretty sure it's gonna become even more popular nowadays like i said with twitch and all that stuff going digitally so a uh, second thing you're gonna need is a computer that can run unreal engine 4 probably the best you can buy because streaming online especially if you're thinking about a character that has a lot of graphics mesh lod whatever you're gonna need the best hardware as possible okay uh the third thing you're gonna need is a plugin that i'm gonna show you how to install right now inside unreal engine 4 and then you're gonna need obs as well and then you're gonna need twitch and that's pretty much everything you need to get this going now with her interactions as far as i know she has like a developer team working on that stuff but what i'm gonna do today is just show you how you can stream live as a character in unreal engine 4 now a very good thing about this is as you if you guys have been in my channel for a little bit there is a meta you character creator tool that's coming out hopefully soon now when that releases it actually lets you create CG characters inside Unreal Engine 4 so you can probably imagine right now you can stream in Unreal Engine 4 so whenever that comes out this whole thing is just gonna get crazy because now you have people creating characters for Unreal Engine 4 and the meta human creator and now they're streaming live to Twitch so by watching this video right now you can kind of get ahead of that curve because you know what you'll need to be able to do that for streaming you're gonna need a uh, motion capture suit you're gonna need a computer that can run it you're gonna need a plug-in OBS and an iPhone which is what I'm gonna be using to facially motion capture my face since again I I'm not sure what she's using I could it's probably Xsense something if she bought the whole suit she probably got the face mocap as well but I'm using the live link app from the Unreal Engine Marketplace, which is absolutely free. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go to Unreal Engine 4. But yeah, so install this, you just have to install it to your engine. And I already have it installed in my 4.26. And after you have it installed, let's go to the actual uh, README file. If you go to the description, sometimes it's really good to just read what they have to say in these README files because we actually have to download another. Uh, we actually have to download another software from here, which is the uh, Spout Receiver plugin right here. So I'm gonna go to that GitHub, and I'm also gonna download that. So if I go right here, go to the release page, and the newest version is two. Uh, is it mainline 26.00? Go ahead and download that and install it. But at the same time, make sure you have OBS installed first. And I have it running here already to record this screen capture. So just install that exe. It's going to install it to your OBS. And then for the plugin, whenever you install that to your engine, you might have to do this. If you go to your actual app, so go to your Epic Games folder. All right, so go to your Epic Games folder, 4.26, engine, uh, plugins marketplace you're gonna see it right here uh, just to make sure that it's in your project go ahead and copy that go to that project that you're working on so unreal projects for me and I'm gonna call this tutorial and I'm gonna create a plugins folder right here so plugins and I'm gonna paste that plugin right there and that should be good to go uh, just so you know though uh, for this to work 
uh, they said that you need one GPU or so for this to work they say you're gonna need to use the same exact GPU so for you guys out there on laptops that has integrated GPU in your laptops you might have to change some settings so right now I am using the RTX 3090 so it's one GPU so it should work okay so we have the uh, plugin installed and we had the spout plugin installed for OBS so I'm gonna go to edit plugins and I think I have to restart oh no it's right here so that's good off-world live streaming I'm gonna enable that and then restart my Unreal Engine 4 okay so inside Unreal Engine 4 you already installed the OBS you already installed the spout plugin like I showed you guys in my previous video so now we're gonna go ahead and set this guy up for uh, my, my motion capture suit now I uploaded a million uh, videos about this so I'm just gonna go through it real quick and see if I can still remember it uh, but basically we just have to retarget this so they'll accept my motion capture data that's coming from the software so a little t-post here and like I said if you want to see this in full detail I got a lot of videos about this here and I'm gonna go create asset yeah create animation create animation current post and we'll just post me I don't know just title it something all right and then we go to blueprint I'm gonna disconnect this and I'll disconnect this I'm gonna add a live link post right here and then for the input pose, I'm actually going to drag and drop that thing we just created, the pose itself. So I'm just going to look here, pose, pose me, just like that, input, and then output. So basically, this is just going to connect my um, mocap suit to my live link pose. And then it's going to go to out, which is going to show you the animation. I'm going to compile. And there you go. You see the T pose. And then for the live link, I'm going to have to turn that on for my perception neuron so I actually have to install it okay so I'm gonna go to the marketplace and download neuron because as you all know my computer crashed and I pretty much had to pretty much lost all my programs alright so going back to access neuron I'm gonna check out cuz like I said I just reinstalled this today cuz everything crashed I'm gonna go to BVH for the broadcasting if I remember correctly and if I go to output turn off the displacement now one of the cool things I really like about this, uh, for the price that I paid for it, it comes with head and uh, gloves and fingers, which is not bad. I mean, it's it's pretty insane. All right, so I'm gonna connect everything. I do hate the Velcros though, but it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So you want to learn Unreal Engine 4, but majority of the videos out there are for video game creations. Maybe I can help with that. I just created a beginner's course on how to make a movie inside Unreal Engine 4. In an hour and 40 minutes, I'm going to teach you how to install Unreal Engine 4 to create your very first CG animation. Unreal Engine is the future, and this video is the perfect introduction to it. Yeah. Alright, so we're plugged in. We're gonna go to our Axis Neuron here. Let's see if I can connect. And I just installed this like two minutes ago, so it's probably not calibrated. All right? Actually, dang. All right, it's not bad. Got my fingers in there, and I'm gonna calibrate it just for the sake of it. And I don't have the legs. That's why it looks funny. I have no pants. I mean, I, I don't. I don't have the uh, the the leg parts. I only have the upper body. Okay, so that's why um, you can see right here in the. Uh, right corner right here on the right side says upper body because I only have upper body on and we're gonna change the body size to J body because I did have my wife measure this for me which is kind of cool and then what I'm gonna do is just calibrate uh, I have to do the remap asset so I'll go to a medium I'm gonna go to blueprint and go here click on this right here I have to change this to a manual remap asset which I have to download it actually have it and like I said I'm only having to set this up again because my computer crashed so if you already set this up uh, you know like earlier you don't have to do this control V and there's GS films and I'm gonna go back to the body here not the torso I have to go to the body go to the skeletal mesh go to the blueprint and under the live link subject name I'm gonna go do this and there should be a JS films one which is good so I'm gonna compile save 
and we're still missing the connection here okay so back in uh access neuron here the software i'm gonna go back to the settings i do have to change it to be uh to udp i forgot so click udp it was tcp go to udp and then right here 7002 go to output make sure the displacement is not checked on go back to unreal and this should work so if i go to source action neuron live and i type in 7002 press ok there you go now you see my character i'm gonna go back to the mesh the body let's go check out the skeletal mesh go to blueprints click down here select your character compile and now we have body motion like i said no legs though because i'm not wearing you know stuff we have body movements so you can see i can i can do the shape i can dance a little bit so that's good we want that yeah i already turned it all the way down and i'm going to save this all so we don't use it uh, we don't lose it, I mean. Okay. Okay, so next step is going to be my phone that I'm going to connect. So that's easy. And as you can see right here, Apple AR is already on there, so it's good. We're, um, we're jobbing it right now. This is working. Uh, but we have to go to the face. And actually, we have to go to the MetaHuman 4. Click on Roku. And if I press play. Okay, that's not working. Give me a second. I'm gonna go to the face, double click the face. Let's take a look at what's going on here with the blueprint. My yeah, live link looks like it's work it's working. Oh, it's disconnected. Shoot. I forgot I was trying to modify the bone here earlier. So I'm gonna be uh, making another tutorial about how you can calibrate your stuff. That's why I was messing around with this. So I'm gonna add the pin right here. And I think it was shrug. Mouth shrug. It's pretty cool. Big thanks to uh, Style Marshall again for uh, hooking me up with this right here. Mouth Shrug Loa. Hey, and this one you can mess around with the settings, but we'll talk about this a little bit more later after this uh, tutorial here. So I'm going to go point to, and I'm going to connect that here. And that's just going to fix the mouth problem. So now I'm actually, I should be able to open my mouth and close my mouth a little bit better. So if I simulate... Now you can see that, right? That's good. All right, so we have the body and we have the mouth movements going. See, this is awesome. Now what we have to do is just, again, I can start from the beginning here. All you need to do with a plugin installed, that's the LiveLink streaming plugin, we go here and just type owl. We're gonna put a camera in there, put a camera, move up, and we're just gonna find it's underground right now, right? So we have the camera right here. We're gonna stream 720 for now. Okay, so we're gonna stream the 720. And I already have OBS open. I'm gonna save all just in case. Um, my mouth is not moving again because it's not simulated. I'm gonna go to uh, OBS. And if I turn this on, it's gonna turn off my feed. Okay, so. What I'm going to do now is go to my laptop. What's wrong with my head? Okay, I'm going to go to my laptop, open up Twitch, and screen record Twitch. Because I'm going to have to turn this one off because I'm going to be using OBS to stream to Twitch. But all I'm doing is turning this off, turning this on, go to my settings, Go to streaming and switch this to Twitch right here. And that's it. That's all I'm doing here. Everything is going to be working. As soon as I press play here, it's going to stream it to Twitch. So let me go ahead and stream Twitch. Okay, so for a minute there, I was like, why is it not working? I was in the wrong channel in Twitch. Apparently, somebody already reserved JS Films. So I had to go to JS Films 0402 for this to test out. Uh, but as you can see, it's working. We are streaming data with my hands and mouth and head and stuff like that from Unreal Engine 4 to Twitch live through OBS using a live streaming plugin that's free. So this is pretty much how I would... And that thing is just lagging a little bit. It looks like Twitch. Yeah. 
This is how I would pretty much do what Code Miko is doing. So, I don't know how exactly she's doing it, but this is probably the cheapest route to do it. Uh, if I was to do something she was doing. Um, and as you can see, there is just a little bit of a delay, but that's just the nature of the beast. You know what I mean? So I'm capturing it on my laptop and then streaming it on my main computer. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I really hope uh, you guys learned something new today. And I know it was really fast, but I just really wanted to give you guys an overview on how I would do something like this.